we just bought this Betty Crocker uh, hot dog machine, and we're gonna do an unboxing for you. So, open it up, Jay. Let's get her cracking. We've got the hot dogs, we've got the buns. What's in that? What's that? Okay, this is the Betty Crocker Toaster Guide. Important notice. Um, customer Satisfaction Center. All right. Okay, continue. I'm sure it's pretty easy. <laughs> we'll see if that house blows up or not. It's quite the packaging there. All right. Oh, oh, it is red. I don't particularly like the color red, but it is a hot dog machine. So I guess I'll have to deal with it. Red Ooh, hots. little tongs. Red, little red tongs. Hots. Looks like it might electrocute you, but yeah, let's go. Down in the toaster. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Okay, let's see what this baby looks like. It's the only toaster you can stick the metal things down into. I don't know if that's safe for our children to do. Instructions. Yep, maybe. Oh, a little that's hot dog the... uh, holder there. Neat. Okay. Is there a grease trap? <coughs> get get the wrapping off of it there. Ooh. It's like shiny like a brand new car. Okay, let's take a good look at this. Let me get uh, a close up. Alright, move out of the way for a minute. Okay. Let's see the front, see the functions of it. Okay, so it looks like you got levels one, two, three, four, and five. Um, Are they separate for the okay, bread so, and the toast? Oh, I'm not we'll sure. See. Let's see, I guess it's for the wiener and the bun. And down in here... What if I wanted an overcooked wiener and an undercooked well, bun? Well, I think that you could put, put the, the hot dog in twice, maybe I would, and then put the bun in last. Maybe you put the bun in later. Anyway, oh. let's fire this baby up. <laughs> yeah, you can put the button in after, see? Yeah, okay. See that? Yeah. Oh, so many twist ties. I'm really interested in seeing if the kids can just make, like, use this. Even the grease jar thing must be something, right? Hmm. So, I guess there is no grease jar. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah? Oh, there you go. It's like a crumb tray, basically, but more of a grease. Yeah, okay. Grease. Looks good. I don't know how much grease comes off it on a hot dog in this thing. Really much. How long is the cord? Very short. Oh. Here, let's put it on our stove. Plug it in right there. That's my little crudite I made earlier. Crudite. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Okay. All right. Let's fire this baby up. No swearing on our channel. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's pretty nice. This thing here comes up. Oh, maybe that hook isn't to put into the toaster. Maybe it's just to lift that up. Maybe. Like with the hook thing, so that you don't burn your finger. Yeah, I think that. I don't think that you're supposed to put those into the toaster, Jay. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we figured that out. No, we didn't. I'm just guessing. I'm guessing that I'm right. I'm usually always right. All right. Let's read it. Just for a second. So big old instructions here. I think they'd give you a photo. Oh, there you go. Tongs. Do not operate toaster with, without at least one hot dog and or bun in place. Hmm. Never place hot dogs directly in the toaster without first placing hot dogs into the hot dog basket. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Toasting. Okay. 
unplugged toaster and use provided tongs to remove the hot dog and or buns. So they're only if it gets stuck. Okay. I think that's a pretty good way that I thought to use it though, put it in there like that. Unplug it. <laughs> Give something sticky. All right, let's get this going. Don't skip the unplugging part. Okay. I have no idea. It's gross. <laughs> I've done it before in my life, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, does the bun fit? Like, okay, so if you had like a big, these are skinny buns I just got, uh, but if you had a bigger bun and ain't fit in there, man, <laughs> you would have to take one side of the bun on one side and the other side of the bun on the other, pretty much. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fish it. Yeah. So that is it. I want to finger that bun. <laughs> okay. okay, let's toast this up. Crank it up to five. Let's go all the way to five. Ready? One, two, three. Let's cook these dogs. <laughs> what about the Work buns? Like, work like a charm. Oh, don't stuff them in too much because. Oh, we got the tongs. Oh, yeah, the tongs. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a weird, like, thing. <laughs> Stupid. All right. Okay. Fit. So there's like an element in there. Now they're toasting in there, I guess. Oh, oh, the smell of it. <laughs> Bro, toast. This is brand new. It smells like plastic. Brand new smell. Yes. Oh, those elements. The first use. I would let it go for a bit yeah, before you. Be, yeah. Before you uh, be actually put your food in there. Oh, well, that's terrible. It says never to use it without having. Oh well, we'll give this one to Johnny or something. <laughs> Johnny and Tony can be the taste testers. Toasty toast in. It's gonna like shock me as soon as it goes bloop. I'm gonna be like, I'll jump back. I know it. Like Jack in the Box. Oh, just, you can cancel it right in the middle. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So if you smell burning, flamey toast or something. So I guess Before in the bun holder, piece. it's more of a just a little oh. station to warm the bun. It's not something. really. Um, you skipped something. It's not really an element something. on it. What'd you skip? Carefully unpack the dust before your first use. You remove any dust. Simply wipe the toaster. Oh, we didn't clean it. Uh -huh. It smells like it's burning. It really smells plasticky to me. <laughs> like, oh, it's brand new. How much was it? 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, 19.99 Giant Tiger. Couldn't pass up this baby. When using your hot dog toaster for the first oh, time... You can't see me in the reflection of no. the thing. When using what your hot saying? dog toaster for the first time, you may notice some smoke and odor. This is caused by the unit burning off the protective coating applied during the manufacturing. Oh, great. So that's going to be... Awesome. It is normal and harmless and will go away with subsequent use. If the odor and smoke persist, discontinue. Oh, there's it's smoke in here now. Gross. I've seen something. Oh, oh see so that? Smokies now. I'm, try, I'm trying to catch it on the. See a little smoke there. There's smokies now. Can you everybody see that smoke that's coming off of it? Okay. Maybe maybe six was like the wrong kind of choice. Or level five? What'd you do? Let's see. Oh, we did a max. So it's normal. Oh, I smell the the hot dog now. Oh yeah, they're toasting. Oh yeah, holy shit. Oh, maybe you should turn it off. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, they look good actually. I can't smell the plasticky smell anymore. I think these ones you might want to chuck, and then we'll do another one maybe. Oh. It said it was safe. Yeah. All right. Oh, you burnt the bun. Oh, because you had to stuff it. Okay, in. how do you? Oh shit! Oh they're right shit! Cooked. <laughs> they're cooked the way I like them. Oh. Overcooked. Okay, let's get a plate here. Check this out. A little toasty. A little toasty. <laughs> I think six is a. Maybe if so you stopped it. You tell me that thing's not hot as hell. That's what I'm saying. You gotta use a little tongue, right? 
So how's it easy to get the bun out? <laughs> oh, that's a real nice toasted bun. <laughs> well, we chose six. We didn't have to chose six. We could have put it on four. Or I think what I would do... Could have put it on four, right? Oh, well, it worked. Whoa! Oh. Well, hot dog. <laughs> All that's, right. Well, that is the Betty Crocker hot dog toaster, folks. Oh, let's dress them up. <laughs> Tony and Johnny dinner. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching our video. Uh, get back to us again. See ya.